I know last episode we talked some of the pre-shot, pre-round routines. So let's talk more like post-round routines. Like you just wrapped up 18 with the boys. What's the, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. I mean, what am I doing? It varies. I mean, I really, for me, I know post-shot, I like to go back and think about how I sucked uh, and rethink. If it's a really bad day, I actually will go to the, I'll go to the range and I'll swing and like just... Just to get out, you know, try to end on a good note. Yeah. At yeah. least if I've had a rough day. Um, but other than that, I mean, I really love golf because obviously we, we have day jobs. Um, I love golf as a an outlet. I like to be competitive, but at the same time, I'm not like gonna let it ruin my day. Yeah. If I have yeah. a bad round. So I like to go home, try to get some laundry done, maybe. Um, you know, depending on what's going on during the day, try to Try to get some good food in me. Go for I try to go for a walk too, if you know, even more. Just try just try to be active. So um it varies for me. I know you you and your neighborhood have a whole routine that you yeah, guys well, simultaneously I mean, do. On the weekends, you know, normally it's like you know, it's your free time. So I get home. I got some neighbors here that uh that usually golf early as well. And you get home, you know, it's it's hot, muggy up here, so you're already kind of sweaty, and then it's you know, you gotta mow the lawn, so it's right kind of have this post round mow that we do here in the neighborhood i mean it just kind of started happening more and more and, and that was a you know three four of us on the street that do it but you get home in your golf clothes you're already kind of sweaty it's yeah. like why why change and mow the lawn i might as well just mow in my polo and <laughs> a pants post, and, post round mow yeah we'll have to get some photos so <laughs> what um i forgot where i saw this but have you ever seen your neighbors bringing groceries have you ever seen in your entire life, I don't think I ever have. I don't think I have. Isn't that a weird like concept? Yeah. Somebody's like, we're living in a, sim- a simulation because I bet you've never seen your neighbors bringing groceries, and I'm like, shit. <laughs> 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 we're all living in a in a matrix. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I'm a big fan of the post round mill. I mean, I golf a lot in the mornings, but for work, I think that kind of helps a little bit. Yeah. Mentally, because you know you, it. it you can't be mad when you start the day with golf and then you got to go work right after, but it's like, it just kind of like, I don't know, you start your day happy and it's like you, even if you play bad, it's like, all right, we're just kind of getting on with your day right after yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're getting up, your body's being active early, you're stretching, you're making sure that, you know, it's a good way to start the day. You get, get the blood pumping. Um, and I know for me this year, at least like I started a new job last, last year and uh, I'm able to work from home, and I can kind of flex my hours, so I'm gonna be able to go to start doing those morning rounds too. So, be a nice little addition to kind of what you did for the last like year or two. Yeah, I mean, I just like getting out there and walking. You know, it's yeah, it's so peaceful in the morning. There's normally not that many people yeah. there. Well, no, I normally get there at like seven. Tee off. I'm done eight thirty, and I got enough time to drive in downtown and, and mm-hmm. get to work. There's days I'll get there, and I'll see this guy. I don't know his name, but he's always walking like up 18 or teeing off on 18 as I'm going out on number Jesus. one. And I think he just gets there like Five. before sunset. Like it's mm-hmm. it's still a little dark and he just goes and he walks damn. 18. Got to respect he's a the member husband. and he just he just goes and he'll be coming up then. God damn. Got the itch. Couldn't wait. But it's so I love those morning rounds like that because it's so peaceful. There's not many people there. Mm-hmm. I don't really see that many. And if I do, it's like other regulars that do the same right. type of thing. Yeah. Um, but it's always, it's quiet. You know, I, I know the, it's always my guy friend in the clubhouse. I just kind of give him a wave. If I head out. He knows what I'm doing. I've been doing it for a couple of years now. Yeah. And then coming back in, there's normally, that's when the leagues are going out. And so then you see the parking lot starting to fill up, you know, right. Paul is making up the breakfast sandwiches. People are getting <laughs> going for their, Get the cheese. morning seniors league but uh yeah yeah that's 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 a cool like you're right that's a good way to start the day you can't be yeah. mad about that i mean you can be mad about going into work but you know i think it's just a little it's it's peaceful just playing i mean sometimes people join me um you know mikey and anthony join me multiple times for those rounds but like just getting out there and playing yourself it's easier to then shoot the content yeah so i shoot a lot of my solo stuff um but you just kind of I don't know. You, you enjoy it a bit more just silent. A lot of times I'll just listen to a podcast too while oh, yeah. I'm going. And, uh, Hell yeah. Quick way to walk three, four miles without even realizing Dude, it. And I then know. you got your steps in for the day. Yeah. And it's not even nine o'clock yet. Hell yeah. Yeah. I remember we, when we did that round last year, we walked and carried bags. And I was like, Dude, this is actually like so much more physical activity. And I loved it. Like, yeah. Oh, so yeah. Great. I got the, 
I got a push cart. I think Carrie got it from my from my birthday a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. Just making the you know I wanted to make the investment in that. I mean, you save ten to fifteen bucks at whatever it costs, yeah, sometimes time. more. Yeah, and it's just healthier. And I gotta say, the push carts like getting a legit one for not bad. I mean, you can get used ones pretty cheap, but you know, yeah. like a hundred to one hundred fifty, and it's like now you're set. Yeah, that's that's yeah. It's and no it's so simple, you know. I mean, then it's carrying. It's one thing I used to do that, but the push cart's great. Just folds up. It's always in my car. Yeah, I gotta start doing that. It's I've got the little, uh, there's a little mount that screws in for an umbrella mount. Because a couple times we'll play in the rain, and then you just throw the umbrella in. It clamps it right down, and now your clubs are good. You're good. Step out, take your shot, and it's you gotta start doing. Keeps that. you out of the elements. Yeah. All right. Talk to me and do it. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, I think also just walking helps you. I, I swear I play better when I walk because it keeps me moving, keeps me in the rhythm of my shot. Mm-hmm. And people claim it's faster to ride and play. I don't think it is. I, I am adamant about walking is faster because you get four golfers that then all go to their own ball. You play that ball and you go to the next one. Right, you got a car. Like you know, if I'm right. left and you're right, well, we got to drive to mine. Now I got to go through my routine, hit my shot. Then we got to drive to yours, go through your yeah. routine. Mm-hmm. I swear it speeds it up. Some of my fastest rounds are, are with four of us walking. Yeah, I don't doubt it for sure. I mean, yeah, that'd be that'd be interesting to to do. We should have like a like a nine hole challenge walking, and we try to we set a time to try to beat it for fast play. Yeah, well, not like not like speed golf type of stuff, yeah, but just yeah. to see, you know, like you know, what like what do you realistically think that you shoot nine holes in walking? Uh, I'm pretty close at that, like, 115 to 130. Okay. That'd be cool to, like, try to do it. Yeah. That'd be cool if we just set a time and just see if how quick, or, quick we can get and how low we can go. Well, if we get Anthony Vega out there, he, as soon as the tee gets in the ground, he's swinging. <laughs> yeah. Literally. It's not even, it's not even his tee. <laughs> it's not even his tee. He takes longer looking for his tee after hitting his shot than Dude. he does pre-shot routine. <laughs> Just an animal. And for how quick he hits it, it's not like he's slapping it all over the place. He's no. hitting it damn well, too. He is, yeah, for sure. But he's, uh, he plays quick. Mm-hmm. I like to, I don't know, people give me feedback a lot saying I take a lot of time. I feel like I take the average amount of time. I don't. No, you take a long time. You do, definitely. I don't really think I but do. But you, you do the exact same. I mean, you're methodical about it, yeah. But, no, yeah, your pre-shot routine is like I, one I keep of the my routine the same. Seen. I mean, I think of it like I I do like free throw shooting. I just remember doing a lot of those free throw contests as a kid, and if it, it was like you, if it took you that long to shoot a free throw, I well, would... you only have fifteen seconds for a yeah, free throw. Well, There's a ton. It's been a while since I, I think rocked. it's ten, right? I think it's ten. I think but... Leprechaun League was fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Leprechaun, yeah. But I just like having that process. And I don't think it's ridiculously long because, again, if no. I can walk and play nine holes in an hour yeah, and fifteen, it's not ridiculously long. You just you you get, but you go through the process. It's not like you're blowing this out of proportion. It's not super long. It's not like obnoxiously long. For the record, the length of that is not because I'm trying to figure out the club. A lot of times, I know the club. It's just oh no, yeah, you're just getting yourself set. It's my my swing feel versus swing reel type of yeah. thing, and having my target lines. You do the same. Yeah, it's yeah, it's never. Like, but also, rarely do I second guess the club and pull something. Right? Else. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I've seen you maybe do that one time. Yeah, yeah. Because you thought of a club, then you went with the opposite one, and you're like, no, no, I'm gonna go with my gut, go back to that. Yeah. No, I don't. I my shit is like I get up there, kind of the same thing. Like I'll set myself, but I, I, I think I'm taking a shot within like 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't wait. A whole I'm more like time. it's like 30 to 40. Yeah. You're yeah, not taking yeah, like yeah. four minutes in between shots, and then and then hankering it off into the trees it's just you know it's it's funny to watch you you know get up there you the visual and you get in there the little fake swing and then just making sure the feet are all set it's it's there it's like it's like 30 40 seconds it, it makes yeah you know, yeah yeah it is about that it's yeah. not too long and yeah. and then anything putting i think is a little quicker because i like to get up there mark my ball and then walk in and feel the line with my feet yeah and then get out of the way and I'm, you just have a good idea before i even yeah, it's I know my we, turn to we talked about it episode one or two. We talked about like eliminating practice putts and like yeah, really just yeah. kind of getting up there and feeling it and seeing it and sticking to that line because your body and your brain, like you see it, your your body's going to adapt to it. So I know for me, I've taken off a significant amount of time putting 
because I'm just not, I'm just trusting it instead of like sitting there practicing. So yeah. Locking into that line. Do you use a line on your ball? You uh, I started to last year. Yeah. Yeah. Before I didn't more, more before I would just, I would line it up with like the logo. I mean, I guess yeah, I was yeah. using a line without using a line, but, uh, but now I do. And I try to like set it on that line and really just kind of make it roll over the yeah, top. Yeah. 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 I'm, I've gotten big on like, I'll use those triple track Callaway balls, but it's like, I don't know for what it costs to get the triple lines on it. I'd rather just, I, no. part of like my pre shot routine, I kind of like is, you know, opening that sleeve or grabbing a couple and marking them up and drawing mm-hmm. the line on, throwing your initials. And then these are the, yeah. what you're using. It's a good little something to do between the practice green and that first tee to <laughs> yeah. do a little sketch. Just and... a little sketch. <laughs> Pablo Picasso over here. I love it. I started doing, I mean, I've done the lines for a while, drawing them on, but I know this past season with more of the tournaments, I like started doing, using that same line marker and then like it kind of works with the T and the J. I can like do it and it gets nice and straight. Oh yeah. But I realized just doing some of these other, the soul tournaments, scrambles and stuff, it's like, Mm -hmm. I need to have this ball actually marked. Marked, right. um, With something that I can ensure is my golf ball. Um, Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Talking so, about balls. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's just some of the goals then this summer, like we talked about, getting fit for clubs, you yeah. know, getting new wedges, probably something both of us are going to be dealing and mm-hmm. uh, just adding to the bag and hopefully improving those games a little bit. Those are scoring clubs. Got to Yeah, got to do it. Help lower the scores. and uh, Yeah. But, yeah. You and I get off a tee box clean, we're, we're scoring on a hole. Yeah. That's just, it's just what it's been, so... You know, it's good stuff. Hopefully, we can dial that in. I think you know, a new set clubs to both of us would be extremely beneficial. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let us know in the comments below anything else you want to see us kind of talk about. Uh, we're always looking to collaborate with others for the golf community. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.